Hi, I'm Steve McDonald. I play in both the Melvins uh, and Red Cross. Uh, I'm also in another band called Off, I should mention, um, which I've played Orange Amps um, in as well. Uh, tonight, I'm here at the Electric Brixton in beautiful uh, London. <laughs> MTV they used to show, or there was another music television program in America that would show old clips of Music Lad and the German TV rock show. They had live performances by classic bands like Alice Cooper and, uh, you know, Hawkwind and Black Sabbath. And they had an all orange back line. And uh, there's this great, there's a couple of really great Alice Cooper clips of I'm 18 and Under My Wheels. Just super badass, and uh, and you know the tone. And then I've always loved the sound of their guitars. And maybe they weren't using necessarily necessarily using orange on their records. I'm not sure, but they certainly re reproduced the sound of their records really well on those performances. I remember my one of my bands, this band I play in called Off, um, we were going to the South by Southwest, uh, you know, convention or whatever you call that, festival. So I had this bright idea of um, getting this little head that is powerful as fuck and just bringing it with me on the plane and I could just put it in the overhead compartment. And, and I remember it was like a total revelation. We off did whatever, 10 gigs in three days, two days. And every venue has at least a decent eight by 10 or a four by 10 cab, but they never have good heads. And I would just plop that 500 bass terror down. And um, it's very simple to work with and um, and I had this consistent, badass sound every show. But then, um, and then I started playing the Melvins and Buzz was interested and, and I helped him get an OB-1. And I took that out on the road and I really dug that too. And then on this tour that we're just doing, um, but since I'm doing both bands, Melvin's and Red Cross, um, I like the four stroke that it has the full parametric EQ thing. With Red Cross, it's a bit, it's a bit more of a, um, it's cleaner and I just, the EQ feels, to me, it, it feels more fitting if I can dip it more around like the sort of, I don't want to hate to use this word muddy, but uh, you know, around 200 hertz is like an area that in certain genres of rock with the Melvins is like, yeah, let it ride. Just like mud that shit up, it's bitching. You know, it really kind of, the whole band just kind of works as like this one instrument in a lot of ways. So that works good, but um, but with the, with the four stroke, I'm able to like pull some of that stuff out and get more of like a, um, a more contoured bass tone. There's that, and then there's this other part that's obvious that it's just really fucking loud and. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, I've never played with a louder guitar player than Buzz, and he doesn't always play that loud. Um, he could, he, he doesn't need all that um, amplification to uh, make his point. But I've never been on stage with a guitar player that is just, when well, he's just, he's got his power amp, so he just turns them up, and it's like, whoa. And, and he's also using a pedal. He uses a Boss bass distortion pedal and um, it's got a big ass bottom end on it. So it's really possible to um, get lost in that as a bass player. This amp has been great for me. He said tonight, but your poor so 
I do Melvin Soundcheck and I'm playing with Buzz and I get it up to that level and then Red Cross has been really easy. It's just like, I like that it's notched, that the gain knob, the, the main output is just notched and it just makes it really simple for like recall, so to speak. And um, the formula seems to be so far, uh, Melvin's is somewhere around noon and Red Cross is two clicks down. Done. Easy. I'm, I really think of Orange nowadays and in the current context with the, the guys from Eagles of Death Metal and um, Dave Catchain and uh, it does, you know, he's a badass that the, the, the every musician I know respects. And, um, and so yeah, it's great, you know, and it's, just, it's a classic name, I mean, it's a classic, the amp is just, uh, you know, whatever, I, I always go back to, for me, it's like go back to those Alice Cooper videos, and that's, you know, that's about as cool as you could ever, ever hope to get. So, I'm proud to be a part of that. Yeah.